Gigabit is a reality was a key message at the Broadband World Forum. Developments in technology and deployment are bringing high-speed connections to millions. And in countries working with legacy networks, that means squeezing everything possible out of existing copper assets. So speed, it's kind of the obsession of telecommunications engineers. Further, faster, cheaper, using less energy, it's kind of the exam question we've been working for 170 odd years. The good news is, it's going quite well. There's been a lot of innovation going on on both the copper side of things, on the fiber side of things. Most of the innovation on the fiber side of things that's helped drive it really is around installation practice to lower the cost of deployment and accelerate the deployments. A recent experiment we did demonstrated that the, the fiber cables in the UK core network are probably good to about three petabits per second. That tells me the headroom is there for the prodigious growth in traffic we see. The other area, of course, is the access network. At the conference here only yesterday, we announced a joint result with Alcatel Lucent where we demonstrated five gigabits per second being transmitted over a 35 meter length of copper. 1.8 gigabits over 100 meters of copper. That's significant because the final drop to the 29 million premises in the UK are almost all shorter than 100 meters. So it becomes a really important result, giving us great confidence that the combination of science, advances in digital processing techniques, and applying that to the business of how much speed can you get out of a bit of copper is going to allow us to deliver the bandwidth ahead of the market need and in a timely fashion. We will get to a point very quickly in the next couple of years where the whole discussion about speed is going to be irrelevant. You know, Because frankly, the capacity will be at a point where the discussion would move towards, and it should move towards, a services discussion around what are the kind of services that can actually make use of this big bandwidth. So, you know, with GFAST, with XGFAST, with all of the technologies coming in, you're going to get to 200, 500 gig, even without having fiber penetration all the way down to the home. The next challenge, which is also going to be an opportunity, is to try and understand how we can actually capitalize on that speed. As gigabit type services, ultra fast type services become more ubiquitous, we'll begin to see the applications changing and adapting to take advantage of that. And then it'll become more and more mission critical at that point. The fundamental thing that we need to start doing as an industry is to try and work on what are the customer trends and the user behaviors that are getting enabled through high speed broadband or ultra high broadband. So things like viewing patterns within a home, Things like, am I able to now carry what I was watching to wherever I'm going? So, you know, mobility in the context of viewing. So these are the things that telcos really need to use analytics and a lot of insight around what the customers are doing and how they're changing their behaviors. The more bandwidth they put in place, the more people will use it. It's like a highway, you add a lane, you still have a traffic jam every day. So how do you deal with that? Is there software that they can use to extract more performance out of the physical network that they have? And that's where the idea of virtualization comes in, that's where the idea of software-based solutions in the cloud that are looking at that network and figuring out how to optimize real-time performance of bandwidth, how to increase reliability, overall how to increase throughput to the home and inside the home. So the consumer feels like they have more performance and yet the, the physical network didn't actually change. We're looking at network virtualization next, so for that and more conversations from the Broadband World Forum, please subscribe.